Hey everybody, this is Brent in Central Arkansas. Today we're going to do a potato reveal on the rooster potatoes. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back and show you how I planted these things in these little cups here with the little slivers. And then after that I'll take you and we'll actually dump this pot out and take a look and see what it's got in it. I was challenged and therefore inspired by the challenge to grow potatoes vertically. And what I did was I cut the potato eyes out here and I'm letting them skin over for a day or two. There's the cup inserted and you can see this piece has a bunch of eyes on it and this one has one. I'm putting several eyes in each cup. I've never tried this before and I haven't seen it so we'll see if it's successful or not. Okay the potato tower is in place. So here we go guys I'm gonna take this little cup piece out that was put in there as you just seen to uh, help the little sivers find their way out when they started growing. And the other one's already gone so Throw that in my compost pile. There it is in my compost pile. All right. Let's see what we got here. There's the bottom of the covers. Doesn't look like there's much in this one. Alright, that's it for that pot. Okay, I've decided to go ahead and do all these pots since there's nothing to them really and start over and I'll talk about that at the end of this uh, overall potato reveal. Okay. I got one that was close to the edge there. Compost pile. Compost pile. All right, that was one of the slivers, piece of it. Other well, cute little rooster potatoes. <laughs> little stressing a couple more little ones That one was also not another very exciting bucket. Now on to the next one. Alright, bucket number three. Had one right on the edge there. And one in the little cup. this bad boy out. See what she's got in her. Another cup evidently. Alright. This one looks like it has maybe a touch more. Uh, but not much. Alright, that's bucket number three. 
This is bucket number four, and it has some pretty good growth in it. Off to my compost pile. There. And there. Plastic cup thingies. Uh, there's a potato. Two potatoes. Well, I'll push that one back in, but there's two sitting right there in the cup. This one evidently has a potato as well. It's keeping the cup from coming out. So let's dump this one. So we got in here. Alright. Oh wow. That's a change, isn't it? Alright, just when I totally given up on that method, this one threw a couple big potatoes, which doesn't change my mind for what I'm going to do, but it sure makes me feel better about this. Okay, that looks about it. Oh, no. Alright, that's that one. Alright guys, so this is the fifth and final bucket of the rooster potatoes I planted. And it's got a cluster of little ones that were right near the top, so I'm going to throw those away. Potential sun green, and they're too tiny anyway. And the other side, down in there, I had one. Over. This one's on the bottom, so it had a neck cup. And it even had some roots, it looks like. Alright, let's get into this. Nope, thought that was a potato. Potentially a sliver and rotten. Okay, that one didn't have any potatoes in it. Had some growth, but no potatoes. Okay, so here's the overall haul of five buckets of sliver grown, rooted uh, from the outside cup in. And I more or less would call that a failure. That's what I would expect out of one pot. Um, so I'm going to show you probably in the next two or three, maybe up to five days, I'm going to replant and show you how I'm going to do it this time. It will be similar. I'm going to use the same pots with the hole here, and uh, but I'm going to do it a little differently. Uh, have a little better understanding of how potatoes grow, and uh, we're going to go from there, and I'll show you that and bring you along with me. Well, there's the rooster potatoes. I'm going to weigh them up for you in just a second, but I wanted to tell you that I'm going to save these as my own seed potato, um, just to see if I can do it. So let's put these on the scale, switch hands here, and it is 95 in the greenhouse. All right, that's the sum total, about four and a half pounds from those five buckets of roosters.